Hello everyone, welcome to a short review video about FlatSim Factory's Airbus A320 throttle detent set. It includes skated flaps and a speed brake lever for the Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant. I've been using this on my live streams lately and um, been getting lots of questions about it, um, so I thought I might as well make a little video. Disclaimer, I have paid for this add-on with my own money. And as you can see here, uh, in total, it came to 124 euros, eight cents, including the shipping costs and the tax. So everything I'm saying here is my own personal opinion. I'm not being sponsored or paid in any ways by Flight Sim Factory. Before buying the Flight Sim Factory A320 throttle set, I actually owned the Honeycomb Airbus lever set. And so I was able to exchange those um, buttons um, into the flats and factory throttle set and now I'm able to use those buttons as the auto thrust disconnect function. Now for the toga button installation on the flats and factory throttle set you need a uh, plier and a little screwdriver to exchange those uh, toga buttons but don't worry there is a very good instructional video on YouTube about this process and so it's no big issue whatsoever. Now with the buttons, um, again, you can use those um, as in the real aircraft as a auto thrust disconnect button. The add-on parts are of high quality and they fit excellent into the uh, Bravo A320 throttle set. And so I had absolutely no issues installing all of those pieces. The flap and speed brake gates can easily be snapped into the honeycomb throttle quadrant and also been taken out uh, very easily and so making it easy to exchange the levers in case you want to use a different aircraft add-on in your simulator. All the parts are very sturdy and so I have no worries about uh, breaking anything even after having exchanged those parts uh, many times by now uh, because I do use different flight simulators. Cool thing is just like in real life the thrust levers now have different notches or detents which uh, the thrust lever will lock into. And so there's no need to visually confirm where you are simply by getting that haptic feedback and uh, looking at the modes on your primary flat display. You'll know that you've uh, got the right detent. Moving on now to the flap lever. It has a spring-loaded flap lever function, just like in the real aircraft. And also the five uh, pre-made flap lever gates will easily allow you to select the correct flap setting. The speed brake lever works in a similar fashion. You have quarter, half, three quarters and full setting. And the thrust lever detents can be uh, calibrated in the Phoenix MCU menu. Same goes for the flaps lever. And of course, there are many other add-ons like the fly-by-wire mod. The toll is A319, A321 and X-Plane 11, as well as the FS Labs in P3D. Of course, the physical reverse lever action also is simulated. That is also a very nice and a very immersive feature. To summarize, you get a A320 throttle set, including the throttle handles with the physical gate detents. You get the gated flaps lever with the spring-loaded mechanism, and it works with the gated shuttle. Also the speed brake lever with the shuttle itself. And if you already own the Honeycomb Bravo Airbus throttle set, you have the option to install the auto thrust disconnect buttons. So my personal honest opinion is that the pros are that levers and shuttles are very solid and of good quality. There is some assembly required, but easy to do. Uh, installing, deinstalling levers and shuttles is easy and fast. And so you can quickly exchange them with other levers when you change flight simulators. Uh, the bigger levers and spring-loaded flap lever allow for a better immersion into the flight sim. Also, the throttle, flap and speed brake gates make it much easier to achieve the desired settings. Now, for the cons, there isn't much to really uh, complain about. Um, if you look very closely, um, you may see the signs of uh, 3D printing on the levers. However, for me personally, um, I don't really mind that at all. Like I said before, there are good quality uh, levers, and so I don't see that as being a big issue. Regarding pricing, like I mentioned uh, right at the start of the video, I paid about 125 euros in total, but a big part of that was taxes and um, shipping. 
And so for the pure price of the levers, around about, what, 79 euros, I think that is pretty much a fair price. Now, they also offer different uh, throttle sets, for example, for the 737, uh, the 747. I also saw one set for the MD-80. And there's actually also a set for the DC-6. So this concludes this short video about the Flight Sim Factory A320 throttle set. If you have further questions, post them down in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as I can. As always, guys, stay safe and uh, happy landings.